Hello everyone, we are back and here to react to Ruby Volume 7 Episode 3, Ace Operatives. We are now officially getting into, uh, like we've got a plan. We have a plan for what we're going to do, but no idea what, how we're going to accomplish that plan. So, and it looks like we are going to be getting, um, we're finally going to get the outfit changes. We're finally going to get, um, the haircuts, going to get, uh, the new, th the the new upgrades. There's a lot of stuff to look forward to in this episode. Shopping and, montage. Yep. Mm, no, I don't think we're gonna go shopping. I think we're gonna be. Um, it's time. I think it's gonna be um, uh, uh, blacksmithing time. So, oh, somebody had a theory. Do you think Ironwood put a tracker on Crow with that hug, like an audio mic? He very well could have. I don't believe so. Mostly because I think Crow's gonna change clothes in this episode, so it's probably gonna be, like pointless if. Ironwood did such a thing. So, I hope not, because I really like that hug. That was such a nice hug from them. Uh, don't ruin it. Please, don't ruin it. And, yeah. That's it. I'm excited to see what we're going to get in this episode. So, no more waiting for it. Let's begin. I love how comments like Ruby Volume 7. Like, so wholesome. So, there's something in this opening that uh, somebody pointed out, and it was John, that we might see in this episode. And it's not the hair, like something else. New Geist. After we increased our numbers, the Geist was smart enough to retreat into the mine itself. Meaning it's old and extremely dangerous. This is our target. Your new weapons and armor should be as requested. I just noticed the profiles are their future selves and not their current selves because John still has one here. There's some additional enhancements I'd like to suggest. But for now. They should The mine was a labyrinth back in the day. There's all sorts of tunnels and chambers the guys can move between. So if we're gonna kill this thing, we'll have to split up and corner it. General Ironwood says you've seen your fair share of combat. <gasps> I trust that man with my life. Mm. So tomorrow, I'll be trusting you all. A new cape? Hey. Ruby. She doesn't get any new stuff. I was going to say, doesn't... Woo! Oh wow, it's just, just yeah. that. Okay. There's no, there's no... Still got her weapon the same. Just the belly's back. And then <laughs> glasses. Yep. <laughs> oh. Woo! Okay, the ace operatives. Boomerang gun? This is my favorite part. Hey! Oh! 
Okay, so it's attached to his arm now. <laughs> Landing strategy. <laughs> He's got a shield! On his shield! I was thinking Wind Waker. Oh, yeah, Wind Waker. That's, Wind Waker that's a better reference. Um. Oh, he's got his new claws too. Oh, look at the, the detail. Proceeding on foot. You've all got fancy new scrolls, so don't forget to use them. Keep your eyes and ears open. I want an update if you encounter the target. Alpha out. Huh? Uh, sorry. Just not used to the new hair yet. Is it bad? No, no. It's good. Great, even. Man, I did not sign up to be a babysitter. Yeah, well, the rest of us babysit you all the time. Oh. <laughs> SDC. Gosh, they look so good. And so different, but so good. Oh, it's freezing out here! Wait, you're cold in your warmer clothes? Or the cold of Solitas can kill you in a matter of hours. I suddenly don't feel as bad about leaving Oscar behind. Can we talk about that again? Uh, what? Yeah, Oscar's what about it? We're really not going to tell Ironwood what happened to Oz? Oh. What we learned about Jin? About Salem? We are! We will. But you saw how things looked when we flew into Atlas. The General's heart seems to be in the right place, but that doesn't mean we should trust him yet. We need to play along for a while before we make any major decisions. Okay. How did Oscar feel about that? Ooh. Uh, probably shouldn't keep running around with an ancient relic on a keychain, you know? But... I know you'll keep it safe in Atlas. Ruby, uh, hiding things from Ironwood... Doesn't that feel like what Ozpin did to us? See, that's the Gotta thing. Say, I'm still not really used to working with other huntsmen in the field. But you were on a team before, weren't you? A long time ago. I just found working alone tends to be for the best. Well, I think that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Bad luck and your good luck. Alpha here. Give me an update. The connecting ice tunnels seem clear. We should be approaching the actual mine any minute. I love his new outfit. This is so exciting! It feels like we're the actual Huntsman team! I am... Um... Like what you did with your outfit, Ren. We should probably stay focused on the mission. Oh come on! Where's the lovey dubby? Okay. I like your outfit too. <laughs> oh come on, you two. There's been a cave in, in the main entrance. I... Not sure if it's recent or was caused by the original accident. Either way, we'll have to do a little problem solving. Understood. Let us know if you need anything. You okay? just realized where we are. Uh oh. This mine was closed after an explosion. I remember this disaster. Or rather, I remember how furious it made my father. Is this the one where Ilya's parents died? Mm -hmm. I wish I could take back the years of pain my family has caused upon us. And all of my complacency in it. This society is set up for Faunus to be at the bottom. Humans are willing participants. They benefit from doing nothing to help us. But there are still those who actively abuse us. Anyway, I didn't come over here looking to solve systemic societal issues. Harriet found a gap in the rubble we think one of you could fit through. Ideally, someone with a knack for seeing in the dark? Uh, oh, of course. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, Blake. Take a look around. Is there any dust in the immediate area? Mine cards, uh, debris. No dust, though. Great, then it should be safe to blast our way through. Okay, heading for. Go! Oh! That got me. Blake, stand back. Woo! It's a geist. Oh, it goes. Does that look bigger than like the one we first fought? Uh, oh yeah, the new ones. Mm -hmm. These were in the trailer. Hey, yeah. Uh, they they were also in the intro. Oh, that's right. Too. I still haven't seen the trailer. Ooh, these look creepy. I love them. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And 
done. Nice. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Grenades. Ooh, nice. Sticky bullets. Nice. Ooh, uh oh. Um. <laughs> okay. That is a cool. Wow. I don't know what is. That is amazing. Boomerang. Chainsaw, I think. A blade. Either way. Woo. Time freeze? I think he has the symbols I've always wanted. But is it time freeze or can you freeze certain things? That's what I mean, like time zone freeze. Ooh, whoa! Wait. Ooh! Ooh. Shockwave! Oh, look at all these upgrades! Now you don't have to worry about getting you close. Ooh. Semblance brings him good fortune. Like he's a good life. My semblance guy. is good fortune. Mm. Lucky you, huh? <laughs> Charlie, I Brian. found my lover. <laughs> I found the perfect. <laughs> we can finally be on a team. We can ship them. Because <laughs> they were semblance of just counting each other. No bad will ever happen again. Maybe no good either. Neutral. But... <laughs> or they get really bad and really good. Ooh. This is hot place. Guys! Everyone use caution. This room is highly active with dust energy. Triggering it could ruin the launch site. And vaporize us. How is that always second with you? <laughs> I thought the target was supposed to be in here. Well, you had to say that, didn't you, Nora? Because here it is. So, what are they limited from using? Added dust to its body? How are we supposed to kill it? Hit it till it dies! No. So he's Mr. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So it seems. And she, I guess, creates stickiness around her place? Whatever she chooses? Feet or high ends? Or... Maybe they're similar. Ooh. Yep. Uh oh. Supercharged. She's Flash. <laughs> okay. Keep it from hitting the ground and activating. These are like yeah. the pros. Okay. Woo! I 
like how everybody, like Team Ruby's just sitting there watching. Like, did you really need us? Impressive. Got it. <laughs> I thought you said this semblance was like mine. It is? I've seen other speed semblances before. That that was different. Mm. I think there's more going on than you think. Wait until she sees what she could do with her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no. Clover. Oh no, not this guy. Unless it's Robin? Yeah. Huh? Oh no. Nope, it's not no. Robin. <laughs> no. Not Robin and her happy huntresses. Oh Jesus Christ! That is How long have you been practicing that? The jump scares in this episode! Well, either he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Or there's some mixture that's been added to the poison to cause some other type of you ailment. You could put him to sleep. Okay, so his eyes change color for the first time we've ever seen that, right? I'm not sure. I think we've seen it once before. You don't know that I think about it. I feel like I have seen his eyes change color before. Maybe when Where? he poisoned Crow? I think so. That's the only time I can think of that. But I'm sorry for that. Yeah, that's a new thing I've seen. Good episode. Very good episode. Very good episode. Very scary. <laughs> At times. <laughs> okay, so that was episode three, and you know, I'm kind of shocked that they kind of glossed over the outfits and the upgrades and everything. Like, I felt like we get at least a little more time dedicated to exploring them. I was hoping we could get some, like, actual haircuts and Nora braiding Rin's hair, maybe Yang or one of the characters getting giving the haircut to Blake. Jean, like, I wanted a little more time dedicated to that, but that's fine that we just glossed over it and just jumped straight to the actual action of the situation. Oh, their upgrades are so sweet. Like, let's see what we've got so far. Rin can shoot his um, blades off of his guns. Um, Nora doesn't appear to have much besides her, much else to her. Jean's got a shield shield. Yet. Yeah, Jean has a shield shield. Hey, Jean, Jean, we heard you like shields, so we put a shield on your shield so you can shield more, so you can shield your shield while you sh you're well, shielded you by shield. So you shield. can, and then if you shield with your shield, you can put it in your sword to make your sword sword, <laughs> and then you can make your sword shield sword see your shield shield sword sword see your fly, and you can fly, <laughs> you can fly. <laughs> I he is told like remember. I don't know, like yeah, I don't know, like I haven't. Uh, yeah, that was good. The breath of the wild and around. Around. Yeah. yeah, um. Ruby, like, so, Ruby appears to have a speared semblance, but it's possible, which a lot of us have actually now been theorizing for a while, that it's not exactly speed. It looks fast, but maybe it's actually, like, transformation, something like that, which is cool. Um, we've gotten the ace operators, we actually get to see them in action, and they are a well-oiled team. Uh, so, the semblances we've seen from them so far, we have uh, good fortune. We have stretchy arms. Stick, uh, we have Mr. Fantastic. We have <laughs> sticky Mr. feet. Mr. Fantastic or he's like Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> we have uh, strong girl sticky feet. Um, speed uh, flash rabbit. And a uh, time stopping um, wolf boy. Uh, yeah. Um, I Okay, so the, the Aesops are based off like Aesops fairy tales. Like the tortoise and the hare. The um the fisherman, uh the good luck the lucky fisherman, um the 
couple of, I think maybe The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Like, there's other, uh, and I don't know who the other two people are from, possibly. I have an idea, but, or I've heard, I have, like, there's the, there's a lot of, there'll be discussions about it, but I have no concrete idea who they are. Now, but that was a really great, and they took care of that Geist a lot easier than, I mean, they're, they're experts, but they took care of that Geist pretty easily. I thought yeah. that would be a little bit more challenging. It was interesting to see, like, that, I don't know if we really saw it last time, but that the arms can be severed from the materials they're holding. Yeah, I think, like, like well, no, they, 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 his arm is a tree. His arm is a tree. They've broken I, off arms before. I, well, they set it on fire, and they did some other stuff, and, um, yeah, the, so we've had, um, so yeah, back to the upgrades, uh, Yang's got a brand new arm attachments, so she can now shoot sticky grenades, or sticky bullets. I wonder if she can detonate them at will? I think it's so. Or if it's a, like, that was really cool. thing. Um, Blake has her, that's her, has her gun and sword gamble shroud back together again with a little bit of a, a gold, um, glue, gold glue, I don't know what it is, like, it's really interesting to see how it's, like, reforged very simply like that. Um, Weiss doesn't appear to have anything new with hers, like, apart from the clothes, she doesn't even, and I gotta say this, um, Ruby now has two capes. <laughs> Like, she's got her cape for her weapon. And so do you cape. think uh, later on when they go to face uh, Salem at the very end, she's going to have, like, 15 capes all flied off of her at once? <laughs> that would be funny, like, Ruby like wears Dark every Souls cape. boss or something. <laughs> That'd be, I'd like to see that. Like, Ruby has, like, just this, this big, like, tentacles They're of petals. capes. They're all, like, giant um, petals around her. Uh, yeah. I will, I just, I think I realized that. I just, it just hit me right now. But... Maybe she has a new cape because her old one's really torn up, and now, like, this one's got no cuts or anything inside it. I'll have to look again, but yeah, it's like oh, a yeah, brand new cape. This one has no cuts. That's what, that's the first thing I noticed. Yeah. Crow's got a new outfit, which is really well... That like, looks really cool. It, it's... I like it... I almost like it better than his original one. Like, I love his original one. It's really classic, but... His new one, like, it's got this new details and a little more... I think it's very fitting for the location they are in. Yeah. Whereas other it's one very, very fancy. Good. For yeah, the situation here. It's got it's kind of it's got this kind of steampunkish to it, like the yeah. vest and everything. Everybody else has got like zippers and belts. Like oh, what was it? Like Nora has those zippers down her no or no, it was Blake. Yeah, Blake, Blake has, has those zippers down her like arm. Which, and they, oh, don't all attach. I think was it like Blake that like her zippers kind of opened up and yeah, it wasn't zipped all the way down. I was like, yeah, is that necessary? um, <laughs> but it's still cool. Uh, yeah. So all the outfits look really good. Um. All the weapons look really nice. I think my favorite is 100% Ruby's uh, flipping, can like shotgun flip her scythe around, which is so sweet. Uh, just like hit someone with the back of it. It's like, ah, uh, with the blades on their side, <laughs> blades on any side. And, and it's also a gun. Yeah. Um, so the ASOPs are cool. Weapons are upgrades are cool. The new outfits are great. Um, the we are we have a plan to for the so this is a mine to for a launch pad for the arena mm -hmm. or which is kind of weird because the arena is already floating why do you need a launch pad <laughs> um, uh, no wait I think this is for the radio tower the, to launch it to the arena oh okay that's fair we do need to get the I, I mean how hard can we just lift the tower with like some other you know ships and well things. i think like like why can't we um um what is it called a uh, chopper What's also chopper? why can't we land the enemy tower closer to the ground yeah i don't know we'll see oh, maybe they'll fly it in and it's just to give it a boost up there yeah maybe they'll go hover it and then these are the rockets to lift it even higher something like that who knows uh maybe gravity dust will sit in a place but won't easily we'll have to have a force enacted upon it to push it around mm. so maybe that's why they need to push it up into the atmosphere. We'll more. see, because it's very interesting Lower what atmosphere. they're doing. Um, yeah. So, if all these Aesops are from the, um, uh, those stories, mm -hmm. and in the stories, the hair lost. The hair did lose. I'm guessing the fisherman did something bad in it. The fisherman did something, I know, he, I think it was, like, I, I think his story is he was rewarded for being patient. Like his, like, 
he 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 couldn't catch any fish, and then just before giving up, um, a fish jumped in. A giant fish jumped into his boat. So it's like his reward is patience. Um, I don't know who the other two are representing. Maybe and um, I'm trying to figure out if like I don't know. Boy who cried wolf. These I wonder stories how that's gonna go. will come in at some point or something like that. Um, uh, and yeah. What else? Oh, Oscar. The Oscar moment. Now, it is interesting. Like, they, I'm glad that the girls have come to that conclusion, but I can understand why Oscar's hesitant because he is Ozpin. He does not, but he and does not. This is also the first time he's met Ironwood. Yes. Even though he knows Ironwood, like, he knew Leo. He knows, he has the memories, but he has no connection personally. But I will say it's interesting because it's like Oscar. I think Oscar is determined to, st like he said, he's determined to stay as individual to himself as long as he can. And does, and the idea of, you know, starting to act like how Ozpin did is kind of, it's, it's basically like everybody's saying like this is hypocritical. And in my opinion, it's only because, again, you don't know how things are until you put on the other shoe. Like, until the shoe is on the other foot, you can't entirely judge an action. And you have to be cautious around very unstable people in power. Exactly. Like, I mean, Leo alone should have been an example that we can't even trust our own headmasters. So, like a small I, group of people like Ruby and them, I can kind of... I can understand him keeping a lot of his secrets and so on and yeah. so forth. But a group like that, they... The influence they have isn't enough to make any changes if they learned. Mm-hmm. But if Ironwood got this knowledge or something, we yeah. don't know what he'll do. Yeah, I don't, don't know, know how if Iron he'll was... go good. If he'll go insane and lose like, all. Like I, I don't. I bet Iron. He's yeah. on the dregs of hope at this point. Yeah, he's like he's. This is his last. This is like the last chance for him. That would be like a nail in the coffin. For yeah. His I mean, again, see, it's the thing. The plan. The people need to stop thinking that the plan is to kill Salem, even though that would help the situation. Well, at least that's Ironwood's ultimate plan. That is the goal. That is the goal of people. But people, the the, uh, the Ospin, Ospin did make like in the way Ospin did make the mistake of giving people hope in the wrong direction. That is the one flaw that he made. But he's not wrong in keeping this close to the chest for select few, because. He doesn't know how these select few will um, react to this information. And based off Ironwood, um, it could go either way. Most likely bad. Most likely um, either apathetic or, 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 or insanity. Just, I don't know. He could, he could go mad. So we shall see how that hopefully goes in a good or bad direction. I, I, I'm hoping, I, in a way, I feel like... You think this might be like an in-volume conversation that happens? Yeah. Or I think it might be next volume. Oh, this I think this is all I think everything in this volume is going to be solely Atlas problems. Um Ironwood, Jacques, Robin, like Iron Man. So I don't think anybody outside of the influence besides Tyrion and Watts, nobody else, Salem, Cinder, Neo, um yeah, any of the outside influences are going to be involved with this volume until the maybe the very very end. So yeah, um, or when we meet uh, Robin Hill, because that looks like in the from the oh from the opening we might. Well, yeah, Robin Hill is a different is, is an in 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 volume influence, not an outside Atlas um, Kingdom. So we lost one of the best characters this volume. <laughs> yeah. So to the final scene, we are getting too many jump scares. <laughs> Good lord! Like like what? It's not even Batman. Like Tyrion is straight up just um he he just appeared. He was not there in existence, and then he was. As he just was there. <laughs> um, yeah. And he took out good, 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 good little criminal boy. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll, we'll look up your name later. <laughs> um, shady man too. <laughs> Fun random revolutionary. Oh. Um, poor guy. Yeah. Poor guy. Rest in, rest in peace. <laughs> so, sorry. Yeah. And yeah, Tyrion's going about having Creighton's chaos, and that's it. Honestly, for an action-packed episode and an action-packed and an episode focusing on you know team building, character building, there wasn't a lot. Like like there was a lot, but not a lot. Like it was easily summarized. 
not a lot of complexities. I like the, uh, like, I mean, I know there's going to be maybe some he budding heads at some point, but I like that the the teams, like, it's kind of, it's to show that um, Aesop's are a more, like I said, Ryan, fi well, fine, oiled machine, while Ruby, Team Ruby, and Jan Juniper, or, or, yeah, Junior, them are still learning, but they are, st but they still have it down. They've got, they've got their own good system, mm -hmm. but of course they could be better. They, they aren't as sleek. They're more, you know, like head first things, charge, all that sort of thing. So it's exciting to see where, what, like what lessons we can learn from the more experienced fellows. Oh, a side thing to, um, talk about, this uh, goes back to the semblance thing with Ruby. Do you think we might get Oscar semblance? I, yeah, I think I'm almost, I'm almost certain we might get an Oscar semblance this volume. Maybe like during the training with Ironwood or the fight with Ironwood. And do you think any of this will coincide with us starting to learn more about Ruby's semblance? Yeah, you like, know. Do you think she might start Okay, to actually, train now that I think about it, I remember it um, at RTX, they did mention they were going to specify or at least put more detail on how semblances are because they felt like they didn't explain it well enough in the past. So they're going to be much more uh, in in depth with how semblances are. So I think, yeah, we will get more explanation to how the semblances are and Ruby semblance and other people's semblance and maybe Oscars may manifest this volume. So who knows? And that's it. That's about, yeah, that's pretty much all it is to this episode. And I'm, I, okay, I think that was everything in the trailer. Like, just from these three episodes, that's everything in the trailer. Nothing so I can else. watch the trailer now. Yeah, you can watch the trailer. Yay! Um, nothing else is um, in the... Nothing else I can see in the future. So, yeah. Excited nice. to see what's more. I'm another, another week. Yep. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care, and we'll see you there in the next episode. Bye. Bye.